Well, it's not news that I take joy in reporting, folks, but it looks like Red Bull KTM's Dean Wilson has once again suffered another knee injury in a practice crash this morning, and, uh, and he'll be out for the remainder of the season. What a blow for Dean. So the question is, can Dean get back? And if he gets back, will he be the same rider? To be honest, like, you know, I'm just thinking worst case scenario, and they say it's six months. So obviously if it's six months, then I would still be back at maybe midway through outdoors, not racing, just riding. And um, so I don't know, it, you know, it depends how it all goes. If I can get on the bike at four months, then maybe, but I'm not going to rush it. I want to be healthy. That's my main thing. And there's just no point rushing it. But um, you never know, maybe, you know, if it's towards the end of the year, you know, maybe like Glen Hill GP or um, I don't know what else. They're probably Red, obviously Red Bull Rhythm, Monster Cup, stuff like that. Trans World Slam. No, but I don't know. We'll, we'll just see how it goes, really. Yeah, well, my career started off really good. Uh, I had a really good rookie year and then I won the championship uh, my second year pro. So it was really good. And then ever since then, it's really been just a tough uphill battle for me. 2012, the year after I won the championship, I was battling for the Supercross championship and injured my shoulder. 2013, was leading the cha Supercross championship again, collapsed my lung. That was a tough one. I came into the first round of outdoors and had a little bit of a bike malfunction and uh, tossed me over the bars and I put a massive gash in my leg, huge hole. So that was the end of that. I signed with uh, Red Bull KTM. In 2015, I did three races and I tore my ACL and MCL, just a practice crash at the track. I came into the 2016 season, I really motivated and worked really hard in the off season with my trainer, Tyla, and things were looking good. I uh, was qualifying good. I got a ninth at the first round, and second round I won my heat race, which was cool. And then in the, the third round in practice, I uh, unfortunately blew my knee out again. I was actually pretty happy before I crashed. Um, Obviously, my first two results speak for itself. Um, but you know, it's just I just had to figure some things out. You know, I qualified in the top. I was on the board every single practice uh, for qualifying at every round. So I had this top five speed. You know, so I just needed to uh, put it together in 20 laps. And um, you know, my last race that I did was Anaheim two, and I got eighth. And I was just I was slowly getting better and. I just had small goals that I was working towards, and I think I was going to... I think I really like, you know, by around, by now, um, San Diego, I was going to be pretty dialed. And yeah, it's just, uh, just practicing at the test track, and... Um, oh, did you see that? Ooh, had, the, had the burps there a little bit. But I was practicing at the test track, and was doing a moto with Dungey and uh, Anderson and Marvin, and just made like a, like a little mistake where I... Went a little bit long on a rhythm section, landed at the bottom of it. Not a big deal, totally relaxed. It wasn't like panic rev or nothing, you know? Then there was a double after, I overjumped that, but I landed on the side of the berm and said the berm was dug out from um, like the tractor. So when I landed on that, it just bucked me off the bike and I landed on my feet into the fence. And when I landed on my feet, my leg just, I just seen my leg go sideways on the corner of my eye. And yeah, I was pretty devastating from there. Um, I mean, pretty much when that happens, you know, something's wrong. You know, like, you know, a rubber band man where you're just going to run away. I mean, probably James Stewart could have, would have got back on his bike and would have been good, but I don't know. I just uh, knew something was wrong and got everything back from MRIs and yeah, I was torn ACL and MCL, so it was a rough one. So when he started to heal and then they had to go, he had to go back to Europe and uh, go to the same hospital and doctor and had to open it up again, clean it out and uh, start from, uh, from zero again. Kind of contemplating on quitting just because I'm coming back from these injuries, you know, and I'm working so hard to be back. I read some magazine interviews and some Twitter stuff on Dean and what he said and he was considering quitting. I mean, after so many injuries, and it takes a toll on your body, even mentally, you know, he has to rebound from that, from that injury and, and get back to the top level again. I think it's mentally 
tougher than being physically tough because your body heals itself and your body repairs. But to get knocked down again for the fifth or sixth year in a row and have to rebuild your career is, is mentally tough. I know it was tough for him because he really, really was, was working hard. He was eating everything perfect. He was working super hard. He had a new trainer. He was riding good. He was on the best team with the best program. He knew that. But it's just like the black cloud was over him again and he got hurt. And I think he was super down at that point. And I know he was um, just over it. He's like, I don't know if I should even do it anymore. I just keep getting hurt. What's the point? You really got to wonder uh, what he's going to do when he's gonna come back and how much work he wants to put back into the rehab. It's so sore. It's like, it's like your worst toothache ever on your knee. It's just aching, aching, aching. It's never had an injury that hurts this bad. It's been a challenge really hard and uh, I, I can feel that Dean still, still really wants to do it and he's, he has been trying to do everything uh, according to the books. Here's the deal with Dean Wilson. Uh, he's got a two-year deal with Factory Red Bull KTM contract. It's ending the end of 2016. And unfortunately, uh, Roger DeCoster, Ian Harrison, the folks at KTM, uh, they've got no choice but probably to move on from Dino. I mean, he's shown speed. He works hard. He's a nice guy to deal with. But at the end of the day, you got to stay on the track. And, uh, and Dino's been unable to do that with, uh, with knee injuries. That really injuries have plagued him since his uh, 2011 250 MX uh, Motocross Championship. And it's been... Uh, been one stop and start after another for Dino, which is too bad. He's out with this surgery and got a lot of other stuff fixed and did some kind of soul searching and figured out what he wanted to do. And there's no doubt in my mind he's going to come back and be stronger and he's going to achieve the success that he knows he's capable of. Well, folks, Red Bull KTM's Dean Wilson is coming back this weekend at uh, Millville. He's been off since in, since January with an, another torn ACL. Uh, this kid has uh, just been tortured in his uh, in his career so far. He's got motocross champion, which is uh, says something and means a lot. But Dino, he's got to get busy. He's got to put in some results uh, starting at Millville to try to get a ride for the uh, 2017 season. We're three days out of Millville, so uh, right now we're on our way to the El Chupacabra Ranch. I'm really excited. I've been off the bike for a long time, so it'll be good just to get back going and, and get in the swing of things again. Worked uh, really hard to finally get back on the bike, so it's nice to uh, see the hard work show, and, and I'm back a whole month earlier than I was last year, so it'll be good. And then uh, fly out tomorrow morning, so I'm getting excited at this point. He's got the speed, he's shown it over and over again, but the question is with Dean is, can he stay healthy? That's the number one thing that everyone in the pits wants to see. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing him at Millville. Uh, nice guy, great to see him back on the bike, and uh, let's see what he can do. And, Good job. You know, the, uh, the, the people he is racing against, most of them have uh, the whole Supercross season and half of the outdoor season behind them. And, so they're in the rhythm and uh, they up, you know, obviously they have their peak of their uh, speed. And when you come back like this, you know, it's, it's really difficult not to get frustrated. And uh, I, I would be happy for him to, to have a, a good race and not overdo it and, and finish. And, you know, and, and hopefully next week do a little bit better and then f finish the, the season strong. It's a beautiful day. It's a really nice strike, and uh, all, all the things are there for, for a really good uh, race day. Eleven. Yeah. I didn't even look at the tank, but yeah.
It just tight. I think got arm pump and shitty lines. That's it. This ain't go far is inside. The, is the inside like inside too out. deep? Yeah. Go fing inside. Take a chance. What do we got to lose? Man, oh man. The race in between second, third, and fourth place here. Absolutely. I say fing it. Take a chance. Yeah. What do you got to if lose? If you want to win a 450, go to win a 450.com. You got to have some balls to do it, but you can do it. You got to make sure you keep your fing arms straight right when you dump the clutch. That's what Because you always go right. And that's exactly what you did first, Moto. If you just feed it and you fing keep your legs tight, then you're fine. Focus on this one. Red Bull KTM's Dean Wilson comes back at Millville, goes 11-11 in both motos. Yeah, he looked a little winded out there. That's to be expected. The guy hasn't raced for so long. Dude, it was like I was in the way. You know? I should be gunning for that like seventh place. You know, I should yeah. be beating an Andrew Short. I should be beating Nathaniel Nicolay. Yeah, well, this is, you haven't raced in six months. I know. Those guys are being racing. I know. Next race, you try to beat my boss and Kennard. Then by the end of the year, you in the top five. How's it feeling now? Feels all right. It's sore. Oh, I dabbed the hard first moment twice. It was okay, but I'm almost thinking about just change my height. Just go back to California and speak. You know, I just hammer it. Like, I need a fucking hammer at. You need time to get up to race pace. 11-11 for Dino. Great work by him, I think, and it's a nice start to the comeback for the 15.